In this video, we're going to look at ClickUp 2.0 page views, documents and wikis, and the embed function. I'm going to show you how to use these to streamline your processes, use less apps, keep your work all in one place, and make your team more productive. Hi, my name's Justin. I'm a ClickUp consultant. I help teams of 5 to 50 people become more productive, optimize their workflows, and improve their business and financial outcomes. Let's dive into it. Okay, so you can see up the top here, I've got quite a few things uh, set up. Now remember that you can have multiple instances of each view. So let's start with conversations. First of all, I've got one here that's just for ideas. Maybe we want to improve our processes, uh, talk about how we're doing things, how we can do things better, or just kind of keep uh, up to date with each other. So we've got a conversation here for that. We can add a comment, we can mention someone, we can mention a task if that's what we're talking about, um, and emojis, attachments, uh, Google Drive and Dropbox integration, all of that. One thing it doesn't have is uh, assigned comments. If you do want to assign a comment, it does need to be in a task, uh, but we can assign watchers here. Uh, if you're creating a new conversation, you can automatically add your team so that they will immediately get notifications without having to join it themselves. A less formal version of that would just be daily lunch. Maybe every day we get lunch together and we need to discuss that. Uh, this one I might normally put on the, the everything view. Next, the documents function. Now, this is new and this is really cool. So here I've got some SOPs and we can embed other documents below this document. We just right click and go add page inside. So here I have our purchase order SOPs and then we've also got packaging, shipping and return SOPs uh, as part of that. Another use of the documents function is as a wiki. Uh, if you want to share knowledge across all of our teams, we can put it all in one place. Again, this would be good to be high level. It might be on the space for one particular team or on everything, uh, just depending on how your business is structured. So here we have our, our kind of general knowledge base and some topics within that. And we can build out as many pages as we need. For the embed function, what I have here is a Google Sheet embedded with a dashboard. ClickUp dashboards are coming, but this is a very cool use of the embed function to skip the queue a little bit. The next one is a data sheet, or maybe we want to do some data entry without leaving ClickUp. Uh, oftentimes we have to have multiple tabs open and then skip between them. Whereas with this function, we can now be working in our list view and then jump straight to our data entry view without having to leave ClickUp, which is really cool. It is a smidge slower to load, uh, but we do get there. And lastly, I've got Airtable. So if you don't use Google Sheets, Airtable is, is very common these days. Now, you'll see here that it's password protected. That's a function that Airtable has. So I'm gonna enter my password in, and then we're in. And we can do our data entry or any sort of manipulation we need to do within Airtable. Okay, to create these views, what we do is we go add view, and then down here we have our page views. So conversation pops right up. All we need to do is name it. Uh, I'm gonna say new conversation and start conversation and we're ready to go. Easy peasy. For doc, again, very simple, just name it and we're ready to go. Name our pages, add pages as we need. For an embed, it's slightly more complex. We do need the embed URL. So I'll show you in Airtable actually. If we jump into Airtable here, obviously this is where I was, but I'm gonna jump back a few steps. Okay, so we've got my bases here. I'm gonna go into my order tracking and invoicing base and then this little share button here. And I'm gonna go create shareable grid view link. Okay, and we've got some sliders here. Uh, yes, I want to allow them to copy it. Uh, no, I won't expand all fields. Uh, yes, password protect. And then embed this view on your site. It'll take us to this new page and we can copy this. Now it's got that iframe there. And if we're using the iframe, we need to put it in this HTML option. Or we could just copy the actual link itself so we can do that. So we'll try this embed one with the with the HTML as it may be a little bit better styled, I think. Let's see what that looks like. Boom, perfect. All right, I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you'd like to see more uh, more videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe button below. If you hit, click the bell as well, it'll definitely show up on your feed. Uh, if this was helpful, hit like. And if you would like some custom help or training uh, setting up your ClickUp to be as efficient as possible, I will put my consulting link in the description below. Uh, you can get a free 30 minute call with me where we can talk about what you're trying to do and whether or not we're a good fit. All right, I'll see you in the next video.